Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and what I'm going to do is give you a detailed email marketing plan for how you should run your internet business whether you're a beginner, whether you've been doing this for a while and have some experience. Uh, the best and most profitable inter internet businesses today are based off of a very similar approach on all accounts and I'm going to go over that with you today in a detailed plan so that you can implement it and um, watch this video over and kind of see the strategy behind email marketing okay so first thing you need to do obviously is once you've determined um, that you have a you have an idea of what your audience wants and you've been building an email list um, if you haven't been building an email list I recommend you try get response Aweber or Infusionsoft, okay? So get response. Aweber or Infusionsoft because these are really the heavy hitters in the industry. Though there's also MailChimp and uh, Constant Contact people like that. But I really prefer these three because they have some of the best customer service, some of the best tools, and a lot of different options that are always being updated. And um, so as far as quality goes um, and the services you get, these two, GetResponse and Aweber, are going to be your best bet for um, small to medium sized businesses. And as far as larger, kind of bigger businesses, you want to go with Infusionsoft once you have more money. So this one's going to be a little more expensive than this one, but uh, I definitely recommend you have one of these three to help you collect and organize emails and use for your autoresponder, okay? So uh, once you have that and you are collecting emails, um, or you have kind of an idea of what you're going to sell at least um, here's what you need to do you need to pick a traffic um, you need to pick some sort of traffic okay and when it comes to traffic there's a lot of different sources you can go with okay um, you have Facebook Twitter LinkedIn YouTube email um, regular email marketing like through lists buying lists um, your SEO through blogging things like that you can do um, you know AdWords or Facebook advertising you know which is like pay-per-click you can even use Bing things like that so um, you gotta pick what traffic you're gonna use I recommend just focusing on one or two so I would say PPC um, Maybe you know social media like Facebook or um, Twitter. Or you know blogging maybe. So whatever you whatever works best for you, get that traffic, get thousands of people a month coming into your funnel. And then we're gonna go next to the lead magnet, okay? Now, if you're trying to get people to a newsletter, it's, you're not going to get very great results, okay? Um, they just don't work too well, okay? You need a lead magnet. A lead magnet is um, something in exchange for the email, like a free ebook or a, a free report or you know 50 headlines people can use on their blog okay something like that to help them just get something in return for their email and push it forward to make a transaction to where they're getting something in exchange for something you don't ever get anything for nothing okay you're never gonna get something for nothing you gotta give something that people want okay the newsletter idea just doesn't really work anymore Okay, so if they do that, so if they say yes, then they go down, 
and they go to the first trip wire. Okay, a trip wire is a cheap product, usually around one to seven, one to ten, one to twenty dollars. Um, just a an affordable product, depending on what your industry is, and you use that to basically um, just turn your leads into buyers. Okay, so this is called a trip wire. Now, I'm going to say, you know, one to twenty dollars, maybe. Okay. So once you have something like that, it's it needs to be detailed, more um, in-depth information, or just better services than your lead magnet. Obviously, people people are not going to be happy if you know your lead magnet and tripwire are pretty much the same quality, or your lead magnet's better than your tripwire, because this is the product that people are supposed to buy. You need to over-deliver. And then if they say yes to that, which is what you're hoping, and you have a good sales funnel, um, you should have, by the way, about a week-long to two-week sales funnel in your autoresponder for that. And then you sh should go straight to a core product. So you're going to have another sales funnel set up with a core product. Now this is best if it's like a monthly payment product, like a membership. That's really the way things are going now. Um, a lot of companies that are mostly internet based are going from a lifetime membership for a one-time payment to a monthly payment to where they constantly update the information and that gives that helps you know that what you're making is going to be more consistent each month and you can count on the amount of money you're going to make that month and actually have a good idea instead of just kind of being in the dark and waiting till the end of the month to see how many sales you made okay so that gives you some kind of um, stability within your business so if then they say yes to the core product then, last but not least, you have like a profit maximizer. Okay, so this is your most expensive product. Your most expensive product can be anywhere from, you know, a hundred dollars one-time fee to thousands of dollars, depending on your market. But the profit maximizer is where you get a select number of your people are going to get um, use as a plus sign uh, are going to get this product just because they're all in they want to go all the way they want to get all your information and they want to see what you have to offer what your best uh, training and everything is so if they buy all of these things, you should have a quick um, process where they can subscribe, they become a lead, they get a autoresponder for about a week to two weeks for the tripwire, plus the sales page right after they buy, right after they get the lead magnet. So there's uh, multiple ways that they see this product, not only from a sales page, but from the email sequence. Once they get the tripwire, that's just a cheap product that tells you that tells you that they are willing to buy what you have to sell, and they trust your brand. Next, if they get the core product, the membership, they're looking to be with you for long term. They want to learn what what you have to offer, and they're really taking the next step. Like I said, another seven to fourteen day autoresponder for that. And then if they say yes to that as well, you have the profit maximizer sales page and you have another 7 to 14 day autoresponder for that. Now I also recommend you um, don't email every single day, you e 
email every other day. You don't want to annoy these people or they'll leave and they'll think you're just spamming them or you're just another person who all you care about is getting sales. Now show them a, a, you know, emails that don't just sell but also teach them something. Um, one thing you'll learn from somebody like Frank Kern, he teaches you something before he ever sells anything. Okay, And what he sells builds on what he teaches you. So it's kind of like helping people go from one small step to the other and you're going up the staircase of making more and more sales. Okay, now this is basically all what happens when they keep saying yes. So if they get all these things, then you create a return path to another autoresponder and they can go back through to a different type of product or other offers in the future and also be able to just get your blog posts and your other content like that. Okay, so then you have a return path. Your return path can be email marketing, blogging, just any kind of content that you give them and then eventually you'll send them right back through this funnel again if they show an interest of any kind in um, promotions of the future. Okay. Alright. So that's if they say yes to everything. Now we have to now, what you do if they say no? Now, obviously, you can't just quit on these people. These are customers. These are subscribers. They've already shown that they are interested in what you have to offer. You just have to give them more of a reason to um, do it. So, if they say no to the tripwire, all right, then you have a follow-up series which is like the autoresponder I mentioned earlier. So you have your follow-up series. Okay. Um, your autoresponder. So if then they say yes, okay, you know, sometimes they say you need six or seven times of seeing a product or service before you make a buying decision and so if they say yes then you send them to the core product sales page where they can have a decision of whether or not they want that okay then if um, but you don't send them to the core product unless they buy the trip wire first because people are not going to spend a bunch of money if they're not even willing to be customers yet. That's the whole point of the trip wire is not to make a profit but to gain back your advertising costs and turn your subscribers into new customers, telling you that they would be open to the fact of maybe spending more money in the future with you. So that's if they say yes. And then if they say no to the core product, okay, if they say no to that, then you have another autoresponder. So I'm sure you're starting to see a little bit of a pattern here of, you know, you show these people these sales pages, you have these kind of um, sequences set up with your autoresponder which like I mentioned earlier is GetResponse, Aweber or Infusionsoft to your autoresponder and you just have a series for about a week each or so and you know some people will buy on the spot, most of them won't, that's why the autoresponder is there and um, it allows you to give people time to learn more about your brand, see your content, and um, kind of show you where they're at as far as their budget, or as far as how much they trust you, and as far as um, what they're willing to spend. Now if they say yes to this after seeing the autoresponder, then you send them to the sales page for the profit maximizer. And if they say no, 
cross profit maximizer, guess what? You have another autoresponder set up for that. Okay. Now I'm not going to show you exactly how to set up all this sequence of autoresponders just yet because that would be a really long video and I don't want to take up too much of your time all at once. So in a later video, in a later tutorial, maybe on my blog, I'll show you exactly how to put that together. But right now you can go to YouTube maybe and, or um, uh, Google, just type that in, see how to set up basically an autoresponder. Or they have tutorials within GetResponse, Aweber, and Infusionsoft of how to get started with the basics of doing that. So then you have all those things. So if they say no to this, you have an if they say no to anything, you have an autoresponder. But one thing we haven't gone to, of course, if they say yes to that, then they get re the return path. And the return path sends them back to the blogs, the social media, the retargeting ads, the email marketing, um, and things like that. So after all of that, what do you do if they say no? to the tripwire, not only from the sales page, but from the autoresponder sequence. If they say no to that after the sequence, then you send them to the return path. Okay? You don't want to um, try to milk every penny out of these people. You don't want to push your luck don't want to make them feel like all you care about is money and you don't care about what their needs are what they want so clearly if all this happens then that means they're just not interested in that type of product and you can send them your content teach them some good stuff and uh, you can help them maybe with a different type of product later on but you keep their email you keep their information for future reference and then if they click on or click through um, some of your other things and opt in, then you can start this process all over again. But if they say no after seeing any kind of follow-up sequence, don't push it any farther and don't go past a week or two on um, your autoresponder. Just send them back to the return path and send them some good quality information all the time um, through that way. And after the uh, after you've get, gotten through the entire offer, the entire sequence, the return content sends them back up here, and then they start all over again with a new lead magnet. That means they need to opt in to another thing first, and then you go through this. So you never do these out of order. Never. Okay? That is one of the main things you need to remember in email marketing. You go from never want to go out of order okay never out of order okay so if you look at all this and we go back through it's pretty simple you have your traffic from blogging from videos, from Twitter, from Facebook, from pay-per-click advertising, things like that. You always offer a free product first, which is your lead magnet, in exchange for email information. Then your email marketing really starts with um, the cheap product or the tripwire, the core product that's $25, $50 a month, whatever it is that you're selling, or uh, maybe it's a one-time fee. And then the profit maximizer that gets you a few hundred dollars, few thousand dollars in one transaction that really um, makes your profits go through the roof. But remember, the tripwire is not for profit. It's for getting your money back for marketing fees and um, turning them into customers. So that's pretty much it as far as how you should structure an online business. And... Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you got a lot out of it. 
if you did please like it subscribe I'll have a lot more on email marketing coming up in future videos and don't forget to um, don't forget to um, visit us at selfmadesuccess.com where we'll have a lot of more in-depth information resources and things like that um, I'll actually I'll actually probably have a blog post soon on how to do this in detailed format and set it up, what kind of emails you should send out, what kind of subject lines you should do, things like that. And um, don't forget to leave a comment, let us know what you thought about the video. Other than that, hope to see you in the next video, hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you have a great day.